In this video, you will learn everything about materials in BookScat. First, I will learn you how to apply a material. Then, I will show you how you can scale and rotate the pattern. And finally, I will show you how you can create a new material and then render the drawing. To get started, we need to go to the material window. For this, right click and select render materials. And then this window pops up. At the top you see all the materials that are in our drawing. Underneath you see the library of materials in which you can search the material you want. And then at the bottom you see a preview of the selected material. To apply a material you just need to drag and drop it on the solids you want. So I'm applying bricks to all my walls. Now you can see the brick pattern doesn't yet appear. It appears in a red color. This you can easily adjust by double clicking on the material and then in the left window right click on it and select convert to regular material. Then you have to select inherit next to diffuse. And you can see the brick pattern is visible now. Now if you want to change the size of your material pattern you can do this by typing material map. We have a box, so we select the box option and then we select all our surfaces. And then press enter. Now you see an origin with an actual system appear. We have to align this actual system with our box, so that's what we are going to do now. So move the origin to this point. And then rotate the axis so it aligns with our wall. So that's already how you rotate your pattern. You just have to select one of the arcs and then select the wanted angle. Now let's assume you want to move the pattern. Then you have to select one of these arrows and then you can move it like you want. Then next up, let's assume you want to change the width of the pattern. Then you have to select one of those arrows and here you can see the width is changed when you move it. What we want is to change the height of our pattern, so we go to this arrow and we change it to the wanted height. Okay, so this is a resulting pattern after what we've done. Now let's remove the roof, so we can look inside the building. Now you can, for example, also apply material to the floor. So for this type in floor and then all the options appear in the library. I am going to take this maple pattern. So drag and drop it on the floor. And this is the result. And then like we did earlier, double click it, right click and convert it to a regular material. Now I will show you how you can create a new material. So right click in the left window and select new. Let's say we want to create a mirror. And then at the right you can change the properties, so I'm going to give it a white color. And also the reflectivity must be 100 for a mirror. I'm not going to change anything about the other properties, so close the window. And then draw a rectangle on the wall. So for this it will be handy that our snap settings are turned off for a little while. So go to the settings and do that. And then draw the rectangle. Now we are going to extrude it to give it a little bit of a thickness. So let's say by 10. And then drag and drop the mirror material on it. Okay, so to see the reflection in the mirror, we need to render it. So for that, show all entities and zoom in till the view is in the room. 
and then in the ribbon click render now you see the image is a little bit too dark so to resolve that we are going to add a light in the room so hide the roof again and now we are going to draw a line to make it easier to find the center of the room so go to line and connect two corners of this room like this and then in the ribbon go to view and select new point light and then select the middle of this line we are going to change the intensity to 10 and then it should look like this so you see our room is nicely lit now we don't need the line anymore and now we are going to show all entities again and zoom in till we're in the room okay now a second try to render it go to the ribbon again and select render and now you can see the reflection very well so we created a mirror okay so the last thing I am going to show you is how you can delete a material that you have already applied to one of the solids so first I'm going to delete the light inside of the building so the outside isn't dark anymore then just select one with solids and in the properties you can just change it to global again and then you see the material is no longer applied okay so this was everything you need to know about materials in BrickSCAD thank you for watching